Hey, what's going on? My name is Harrison, and this is going to be an Unreal Engine 4 C++ tutorial on how to do a light switch trigger. So we'll make a trigger sphere, and when you enter the sphere, you will uh, the light will turn on and off. Um, this is based off a pre-existing a, uh, a C++ only tutorial on the on Epic's documentation. It's under Clash Creation Basics. There's a Blueprints one, and then we're just gonna do the C++ one. So uh, yeah, so let's just go ahead and do it live and make it happen. So, and there should be the code already in the description below. So if you just want to grab the code and move along, you should be able to. Uh, first step, as always, uh, right click, new actor. Next, let's call it uh, light switch trigger. And click create class. Okay, so the engine just compiled or the just created the files for us. So let's go ahead and set up our header file. Uh, we're gonna want to create a few variables and a couple functions, and we'll use those in the CPP file. So first, let's go ahead and create our point light that will be turning on and off. It will be a U property visible anywhere. Did I spell that right? We'll put everything under the same category of as a light switch. It's a U light. It's a U point light component. Have that a pointer towards. Let's call it a point light. Make another U property visible anywhere. Uh, same category. It's going to be a U sphere component. Uh, we want that just call it a light sphere. Pointer light sphere. Next, we want a variable for the intensity of the light, so we can set it manually. It's going to be a float. Uh, let's go ahead and create our U function for toggling the light. So it's going to be void toggle light. Now we're going to create our overlap end and our overlap begin functions. They will also be U functions. U function void on overlap again. I'm going to take the parameters from one of Unreal's documentation pages. Um, on component, begin overlap. Uh, the way they do it, they add in all these parameters, so I'm just going to take that, copy and paste it in. Save us some time. I'm going to do the same exact thing for um, on overlap end. Went a little too fast. U function void on overlap end. Now again, I'm going to take the parameters from this page on component and overlap. Semicolon, and we should be done with the header file. Let me double check, and I think we're good to rock. So now let's jump over into the CPP file. Uh, let's include the files that we need in order to make the code run. So one, we're going to want a light component, a sphere component, and then debug helpers to help us visualize the overlapping sphere. Components, point, light component, uh, include components, 
forward slash sphere component. And now include debug helpers. What is it again? Draw debug helpers dot age. Uh, what's next? We're gonna go into our constructor function and set a bunch of default values. Uh, let's go ahead and set our light intensity to 3000. That's going to be how light or how bright the light will be. And again, you can change it to whatever you want. Now let's uh, create and attach our point light. Point light equals create default sub object. It's going to be a U static light component. Or what is it going to be? It's a U, it's a U point light component. U point light component. Has some text. Point light. Set the intensity. Point light arrow operator. Intensity equals light intensity, the variable that we created above. Uh, point light arrow operator visibility. Or I guess it's a bool bool visible. And we're gonna set that to true. So by default it's gonna start on. And this will also be the root component. So root component equals point light. That was easy enough. So now we just attach the point to our actor, the uh, the light to our actor. Now let's create the sphere for the overlap for the overlapping events. Light sphere equals create default sub object. It's going to be a use sphere component. Light sphere comp. Oh, we want to set the initial radius, and we do that by calling on that variable, doing the arrow operator, doing the init sphere radius function. And let's go ahead and set it to 300. Uh, next, we'll have to do is set the collision name. I like doing this manually just to bypass the other, bypass another step. But you can also set it in the details editor panel inside the editor. A light sphere set set collision profile name. And I like setting it to trigger box or trigger rather. Light sphere setup attachment. <clears throat> and we're gonna set it up and we're gonna attach it to the root component. And now since we just created and added that sphere, we now wanna add the overlet the overlap events to happen when we enter and exit that sphere. Light sphere, arrow operator, on component begin. No, it's on, on component begin overlap. On component begin overlap, dot add dynamic, bind it to this actor, reference this actor's functions, light switch, Trigger a light switch trigger. Yeah, I want this one. Um, on overlap begin is the function we want to call on each beginning overlap. Again, we will create this function down below in just a couple minutes. Now do the same thing for uh end for ending overlaps. Uh, light sphere, light sphere arrow operator on component end overlap dot add dynamic bind it to the actor reference uh, a light switch trigger reference this actor's functions on overlap end again we'll make that function next all right i think that's it for the constructor function let me just double check we're pretty good i think i hope we'll probably have some errors but in the begin play function, let's jar our debug helper. 
draw a debug sphere. Get world. We want to start at the actor's location, wherever we drag this into the world. Um, it'll be 300 units wide, or at least that's the radius that will extend out from the origin in every way. 50 quadrants, true to not delete it after it's drawn. <clears throat> Negative one, zero, and go ahead and make it two unreal units thick. Moving down below, we're gonna do our, we're gonna create our overlap functions and our toggle visibility function. Let's go ahead and do our toggle visibility function. So that'll be a light switch trigger, toggle light. It's a really simple function. We're gonna grab our point light variable that we created in the constructor function and toggle this visibility. Toggle visibility is available to every point light and probably more components. I think it's available to every uh, every primitive component, but I'd have to double check. Uh, how do you spell it? Toggle is a ability. That should work. <clears throat> now let's do our overlap begin and overlap end functions. I'm going to grab the parameters from the header file. Now what do we want to do? When you uh, when you enter, you want to toggle the visibility. So you want to turn it off, I guess. It's how this example is going to work. Um, so on overlap begin, what do we want to do? So let's uh, do our error checks. Um, if other actor is true, I mean, it does something, has something overlapped, and is a real thing. Um, and does it not equal ourself? And does it have a, another working component? And if all of that uh, results into true, let's go ahead and toggle the slate. Toggle light. Toggle that bad boy. Now let's do the same thing for uh, ending overlaps. Copy and paste it. I'm going to change begin to end. I'm going to grab the correct parameters from our header file. Paste them in. And everything should stay the same. I'm going to double check. Yeah, everything's the same. All right, I saved it. Let's go back into the edit into the editor, compile, and see what to debug. All right, the compile failed. Let's check out where I went wrong. Boy, draw debugs theory. All right, 37. So here, I missed the semicolons. That's an easy, easy mistake to correct. Um, F color is this clear? Let's go back to 37. Oh, I don't think I gave this a color. Let me just make sure. It's gonna come after 50. That's my fault. Let's just call it purple, I guess. I guess that should be fine. Now let's compile and see if it works. Okay, the compile was a, su was a success. Let's go ahead and drag and drop it in. So you can already see that the light is already attached as soon as I drag it into the world. And there's a there, there's two spheres. The inner sphere is the uh, round, is the uh, collision one that I'll be interacting with. So we can see that the light is right there on the wall. So let's go ahead and push play and see if it works. So when we enter it, it should turn off. And it turns off, we exit, on, in, off, and we leave, it's back on. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.